Attention running sandal wearers. There's a new sandal in town. Actually, it's been around for a while. I just didn't know about it. Um, I've been running in Luna sandals for the better part of a year. Um, I've run everything from 5Ks to ultra marathons in them on the road and on the trail. Um, my favorite Luna sandal was the Bonato, which is about a six or seven millimeter thick um, Vibram sole with a little bit of leather on the top. Um, and I use the traditional leather laces. Uh, I love these. I think I've got over a thousand miles on them. Um, but they stopped doing them. Their Venados are now almost, I think, 10 millimeters, and you can't get these traditional laces anymore, which is a serious bummer. Um, these I expect to last for another year or so. Um, but trying to explore uh, and find something different um, just for future use, I came across Shama Sandals. Um, they offer something that's sort of like a cross between the Luna Leadville and the Luna Venado, but it's considerably thinner. So it has the herringbone pattern of the uh, Leadville, um, which helps uh, dissipate the um, impact of rocks. It spreads it out a little bit more, and so it's better for rocks and, and trail, um, rough trail, than the Venado ever was. Um, but it's also quite thin. It's thinner than the Venado ever was. And so while the Venado's gotten bigger, I mean, there's certain reasons for that. Um, the uh, the Shama Sandal offers several that are still quite small. There's the uh, Warrior, and they also have a couple, I, I don't know what they're called, um, but are the same thickness of the old Luna um, Venados. So there, there are about three reasons why I would recommend making that switch, or if you're thinking about going in, into wearing sandals for running, um, to, to pay attention to the Shama Sandal line. The first is... Um, they offer thinner sandals than uh, Luna ever has. Um, maybe that's a benefit, maybe not. Um, Luna's gotten a little bit thicker um, lately, and I think they're appealing to a, a, a broader crowd, which is great. They've maybe found their niche, um, and, and they want to market to a much larger sort of mass-running community. Um, and, and if they hit that, then great. They'll, if they're encouraging people to run, that's awesome. Um, but if you like wearing sandals for um, the benefits and form and foot strength, then you're going to miss out on some of those. Um, another thing that I would recommend is there's no trade-off for quality. Um, I always recommended Luna's because their, their quality was unparalleled, um, but these have been fantastic so far. Um, the, they make some with complete leather straps. Um, these have the same kind of ATS webbing, um, but it's a different lacing system with a couple more points of, um, uh, there's, there's Velcro. Um, where you can, can tighten it with a little bit more ease than the ATS system ever was. Um, but top quality, there's suede overlays where it touches your foot. Um, so, so you're not missing out on quality. Uh, and finally, these are actually cheaper. Um, another thing that happened with Luna Sandals recently is, um, in addition to getting thicker, um, they're also quite a bit more expensive. So I had um, a friend of mine approach me uh, after the Albany Marathon about, hey, where can I get some sandals? And I, I didn't know what to tell him because um, the Luna sandals are so expensive now. I'm not going to tell someone to spend $115 um, on a pair of sandals uh, when they can get like some brand new Nikes for about the same thing. Um, I almost felt bad. So I told him I would look into some other options, which I ended up doing, and that's what led me to the Shama sandals. Um, oh, and finally, um, the, the, the Shama sandals are significantly lighter than the Lunas. Part of that's because they're thinner. Um, but I think another part is because um, the Luna Sandal model, I think, has finally actualized what Ted was interested in doing, which was having a fully, um, uh, or, or making sandals that didn't produce any waste. And so it's actually using scrap rubber. Um, that was his original goal. Um, and he, he wanted to um, reuse, recycle uh, old materials without producing any waste. And that's an expensive process. Um, it doesn't pollute anymore. Um, but it's also expensive, and maybe that's not something that you want to um, spend an extra thirty or forty dollars. But if you're interested in that, I, I mean, I'd recommend going with those. Um, you're dealing with uh, old tire rubber um, in their Osos. I think that's what they're called. No, it's called um, the Origins, and, and they're really thick, or really heavy. They're, they're thin, but really heavy. Um, and so, if if that's important to you, um, and it very well maybe, I'd recommend going with those. He's finally sort of got it, and that's. Uh, congratulations to him, um, but those are like $115, $130. Um, so these are thinner, lighter, uh, cheaper, um, and have the same quality as um, the Luna line. Um, I recommend going with them.